Here at Oracle Lighting, we've created LED taillight upgrades for many Jeep models, and now we're bringing that same innovation and quality to the often overlooked MJ platform. These all new LED taillights fit the 1986 to 1992 Jeep Comanche MJ models and feature an OEM look with modern refinement. These new refinements include LED stop, park, turn, and reverse lights, which provide an updated appearance and also provides better visibility over the stock halogen lights. These are offered in a standard lens option for a more OEM appearance, as well as a tinted lens option for a more aggressive blacked out look. This install is very straightforward, and we've even given you all new hardware to make the install that much easier. Let's get started. All right, so to remove the taillight, we just need to remove four Phillips screws. All right, so we're gonna pull the taillight free. All right, so now that we have the taillight removed, we're just gonna go ahead and unplug the sockets. So as you know, this is an extremely old truck. They don't make replacement parts for this anymore. As you can see, these are super corroded. Uh, we're just gonna cut these off and we're gonna install the new quick disconnect plugs that we provide with the taillights. Snip all of these wires. We're gonna separate these. So these two wires, we're gonna actually strip and twist these together. And this is the two blue wires. And strip this wire. All right, so this is one of our wiring quick connectors. As you can see, it's gasketed, so it's waterproof. We've got some heat shrink connectors that are pre-installed on these. We're gonna go ahead and connect our ground first to our black wire. All right, so we're gonna connect our yellow wire to our gray wire, and we're gonna connect our white wire to our doubled blue wire. So the factory connectors use an older style twist lock bulb, and these are historically unreliable. The contacts tend to corrode and the sockets themselves become brittle. Our LED lights utilize modern weather pack connectors. Because of this, we simply need to remove the old connector and crimp on the new connectors. The process is actually quite simple and we include heavy duty waterproof crimp connectors. All you need is a crimp tool. So once you're done getting everything connected, this is what your wiring should look like. On the first plug, you should have the black wire to the black wire on the truck side. You should have the yellow wire connected to the double gray with black stripe on the truck side. The white connected to the dark blue on the truck side. The second plug is going to be identical. And then for your reverse light plug, the white wire to the brown wire and the black wire to the black wire. All right, so before we get these plugged back in, we're gonna go ahead and heat up the heat shrink on the ends of these connectors. And if you don't have a heat gun, like what I'm using, you can use a lighter or a torch just to get some heat on the ends of these. You'll see that they'll start shrinking and forming around the wire. So we're gonna use the flathead to remove the original speed clips. All right, now we're gonna add in our two new ones. All right, so we're gonna start plugging in our tail light. We'll start with the reverse light. Just making sure that the wires match on both sides and we've got this nice little clip here. Now for these two, we wanna make sure that we're plugging in the right top and bottom. So the connector with the four factory wires connected in is gonna to go to the middle plug. And the connector with the five wires is going to go into the top connector. All right, so we've got our tail light lined up in place. We're gonna go ahead and start installing our screws. I'll go ahead and tighten that with the Phillips. Now we're gonna install our two side screws. So 
So now that we've got the driver's side taillight installed, we just need to repeat the same exact steps on the passenger side. 